Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new feature that has been added into Blender 2.82. And this feature is actually something that I know a lot of people have actually hoped for. And it has to do with the clot simulation side of things. So we're going to take a very quick look so that you can actually get your hands dirty with this one. So the first thing which we're going to do is directly here in Blender, I'm just going to go ahead and delete the cube. Everybody deletes that cube and I'm going to simply add a UV sphere. So by just clicking and keeping that UV sphere there, the next thing which I need to do is just, you know, move this thing a little bit up. So I'm just going to tap G and Z and raise this thing all the way up. I could actually choose to scale this depending on what I want to do. Next thing I need to do is go ahead and add a very simple plane. Now this plane is going to act as our ground floor or you know you know something that has to collide with then by default all you have to do is come over to this part where you have the physics and convert this to a collusion so the collusion that exists in blender is more like a universal collusion so once you add collusion to one thing it's going to be more like something that will collide with almost everything in the world okay so next thing which we need to do is come over here click onto this object and change this to clot by simply clicking and changing this to clot what you've actually done is you know you've actually added a clot modifier so it's very very simple so you've just added a clot modifier so let's go through these things and see what happens next thing which we need to do is come over to the physics tab so by just simply clicking on the physics tab you can now see that we have all of the clot setups here and you can check and you know play with the presets that exist here if you go through and simply press the playback button you get something like this if you choose to get something way more dense than this squishy than this what you need to do is come over here and change the amount of you know vertex mass so for vertex mass we can actually make this about let's just go by six and by just pressing six right there and pressing the playback button you're going to notice we have something that is you know squishing you might also want to get some self collusion so this thing doesn't fall into itself and that you may want to do by coming down to this part where we have collusion and you can turn on self collusion okay so if you want to also get some vertices to actually you know do the self collusion you may also want to do that by simply selecting a couple of vertices which you can do by simply going over to the part which you want so we can do that really quick so once you have what you're looking for you may want to come over to vertices and go all the way down here and select vertex group and save this as a vertex group so this is when you want to have certain vertex group to drive certain stuff and that is basically how you create a group next thing which we want to actually talk about which is the elephant in the room is pressure so pressure is now a brand new thing that is existing in the blender clot side of things so if you come over here and click on pressure i want you guys to notice what we have before and after so without the pressure once we come through and press the playback button we have this pretty cool okay now let's go ahead and turn on pressure and see what we have so pressure is going to preserve an amount of air inside the geometry so we're going to press the playback button and then we're going to have this pressure okay so this looks good now the reason why we're having all of this distortion on this mesh is for two reasons first of all we have our pressure set to zero which you can see directly from here let's just simply go back and turn this to about let's say two and press the playback button one more time and now you can see we have way more pressure on this next thing which we need to do is we can actually you know punch this all the way to 10 in case you don't want this to actually deflate you can also you know increase this and once we press the playback button you're going to see we have much more of a bouncy ball we all like bouncy balls don't we next thing which you want to do is play with the factors right now we've seen how much the pressure contributes if you scroll a little bit down you're also going to notice that we have something called factor so the factor is actually scaling how much pressure you have this is going to be very tricky for a lot of people but we're going to go through and actually explain this so for the factor if i simply change this to two it's going to times the scale of this by two so if we just simply press the pause go back and press the playback you're going to see that the ball actually bounces a little bit different next thing which you want to do is oppress this about four now just hold on tight and see what we're going to get we're going to get something like that now what is happening is the pressure inside is being scaled up by four if you simply come back to this place and turn this all the way down to four it's going to be about four times four and you know what that is and we're going to get something really cool another thing which you need to note is the number of pressure or the value which you add to the pressure actually determines how much it is going to be scaled by another cool thing that you need to note is this is the scaling unit while this is the default pressure that you have so this is definitely going to help you know influence your decisions whenever you're trying to make something like this if you want to attach something that has to do with the vertex group you can also come here and you know the group which you created earlier yes we can just simply click that and then if we press the playback button you're going to see that we have something like this very interesting times around here and you can play with this as much as 
colors you want and create some very very cool stuff if you want to have some sort of custom volume that would actually work with this let's say you want to have a targeted volume you don't want your object to actually you know go past a certain volume you can actually play with that here and tell me what you guys think about this new tool that is presently in blender 2.82 and tell me what you guys think about that in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video or the next upload and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace